Given the fact that Donald Trump asserted, essentially, these are mine and I want them, and also that his lawyers, they wanted to see them again, and, and they seem to have this sort of, you know, sort of possessiveness toward them, would that prompt you as an investigator and a national security pro uh, professional to want to, I don't know, search his other properties to see if he's got more? Well, I think that's potentially in play here, because even in the Mar-a-Lago case, uh, if folks remember, uh, beyond what was recovered, there were apparently other blank folders labeled classified, whether they had cover sheets on them, it's not clear to me, but there may have been additional classified information, and again, probably intelligence assessments in those folders, and where are those, and who had access to them, and, and what did they contain? And these are all questions we don't know on the missing, uh, potentially missing material. Absolutely. And, and Barbara, given the fact that you now have sort of two kind of, you know, sort of chunks of types of judges, you had one judge who was very solicitous, I'll just say that, was just solicitous of Donald Trump's claims that he could theoretically go back to again if, let's say, Bedminster was searched, but that you also have the 11th Circuit saying, no, 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 these belong to the government and they are the ones who have the interest in them. What do you think would be the hurdles that theoretically, if the DOJ would say, you know what, now we do want to search other properties. Do you, could Trump play the same game again and go back to the same judge, Cannon, and do this dance again? Well, if they looked in Bedminster, you have you are uh, then under the jurisdiction of a judge in that district. So District of New Jersey, if we're talking about Bedminster. To get in the door there, they would need to be able to establish, DOJ would, probable cause not only that a crime has been committed, which I think they have now established, but also probable cause to believe that the documents would be stored at that location. And so I can imagine that part of the damage assessment and the criminal investigation is to investigate what happened to these documents in the missing folders and to interview people who work at Bedminster to find out if they've seen any evidence of this. Because if they can get a witness to say, oh, yeah, I saw some boxes come in the door, that could be enough probable cause to then get a search warrant for that location. Now, if Trump wanted to challenge that, he would have to do it in New Jersey and begin right. his judge shopping all over again. Or, or if, you're, if they want to talk about Trump Tower, where, you know, in the grill, there's these documents. It's like, York, what is yeah. this? So, yeah, it would be, it would be wherever, whatever jurisdiction. So Cannon can't control it all. Interesting. Um,